Good evening, this is Anthony Michels again from the Netherlands. Today is June 11th and I would like to talk to you about the Austrian economics free market for currencies. In the old days for Austrian eco economists things were a little more simple. Uh, they would just explain to people that fractional reserve banking, paper-based fractional reserve banking uh, was a hoax and that the real pr problem with our money is not so much the, uh, that we are being raped by interest on this uh, fiat currency, but, by, uh, but that the problem was that the money is uh, not backed by gold and that that is the real problem, that uh, we would feel much better if we could slave away uh, for all these um, uh, for usurious tributes to our money masters if we can pay in gold coins. Gary North uh, built a whole career on a pretty hilarious little book with that premise called Coogan Bluffs. Coogan's Bluff, you can read all about it on my website, realcurrencies.wordpress.com. The relevant um, links are in the description of this video. Uh, later things came a became a little um, uh, more complicated uh, because people started to realize, well, we used to have a gold standard before we had um, the printing press. And wasn't this a banker operation? Wasn't this a government-sponsored operation? Uh, was this really a very stable situation? Um, well, clearly it was not because there were asset bubbles, there were deflations, there were inflations. Um, and of course, uh, governments can always, if, if you have a government-controlled gold standard, uh, the government has to set a fixed price for the gold and government can change this fixed price. So. Also, even if we have a full reserve gold as a banking system, would we really want to trust government uh, when they claim that for all the paper that is in circulation, they actually have gold coins in their vaults and most libertarians or, uh, libertarians or gold, uh, Austrian econo economists would say, no, we cannot trust government with this. So um, the classic gold standard had to be abandoned but they came up with uh, an alternative, uh, the alternative being much closer to their worldview anyway, uh, namely a free market for currencies. And this is of course what Ron Paul has been suggesting. Ron Paul has, um, has launched um, a proposal uh, for, for a law called a free competition in currency. It's HR 1098. And they say, well, let the market decide on the volume because Austrian eco econo economics, of course, tries to downplay the importance of interest. They, they try to ignore interest as a real problem on, uh, with our money supply. Austrian eco economics wants to make us believe that the main problem with our money supply is one of volume. And they say, let the market decide what the volume of the money supply should be. And if the money supply is going down, the price of money will go up. And then, of course, the money supply will go up again because more people will be seduced to bring in their specie into the market, etc., etc. This, this is the basic idea of how the free market for currencies should uh, work out and, and, and guarantee a stable volume over time. Um, a free market, of course, implies competition, and Austrian economists, well, they used to suggest that the only real competitive currencies would be gold-based. Nowadays, they have been uh, they have been dealing with some fierce competition, a, a fierce uh, criticism of, of that notion, um, also by myself. That uh, paper-based mutual credit kind of units, social credit kind of units could actually uh, provide a, a currency at a far lower cost and would be very competitive in the marketplace. And, um, well, I don't think that uh, Austrian economics has a real, uh, has a real answer to that. Uh, and, and the fact is that we should look at what this uh, free market for currencies from an Austrian economics point of view really would work out to and what would happen. And what would happen is this. If there would be a really free market for currencies and the Federal Reserve notes would be taken out of circulation uh, because the Federal Reserve, uh, uh, a la Ron Paul, is a, is a criminal enterprise and should be closed down, what would happen? Well, what would happen is very simple. The money power would open up gold-based banks all over the place. 
and they would open uh, open these banks uh, in a seemingly competitive uh, environment. They would have several s uh, different banks competing with, with each other, but they would all be controlled by the same people being the money power. And uh, this, this gold-based uh, money supply would be heavily plugged by journalists, by, pr uh, by uh, the academics, uh, by economists, all explaining how wonderful it is that we now have this free market for, for gold-based currency and that it's completely natural that, that only specie is dominating this market because after all, gold has been currency for 5,000 years. Huh? That will be the, uh, the story. But the fact is that the only reason why gold will prevail is because uh, all the vast resources of the money power will be behind gold and uh, competitive I co competing ideas like mutual credit will be will not be sponsored will not be invested in and in fact it will be most likely that uh, the money powers uh, w money power would send some goons uh, in <laughs> to people who are becoming all too successful with uh, with interest free credit based currencies You know, Austrian economics is well known for its trust in the magical freedom of the market, and you know, it, it's it's rather, it's not not really very credible because first they want the government to create this free market, then they want government to enforce contracts in this free market, and then when the uh, when the market is being dominated by by a few uh, high-powered players, they want government to look away because these high-powered players are, are are showing human action, and this of course is uh, is, is just wonderful and. The, the way that Austrian economics uh, hates government and government intervention, but on the other hand, it, uh, turns a blind eye to powerful market players, it's, it's, it's not very attractive. And even if there were real, real competition, uh, let's say that, um, that there would be billions of dollars uh, invested in mutual credit facilities also, of, or let, let, me put for, let me put forward first this. If Ron Paul gets his way and the Free Competition in Currency Act is, uh, is enacted and uh, gold-based uh, units are allowed to circulate next to the dollar, legal tender laws will be revoked, what would happen? And the answer is absolutely nothing would happen. For the very simple reason that everybody would continue to hoard the gold that they have and they would continue to pay with the Fed notes that they have. Because and, and, and this is it's no use discussing this. D just consider this for yourself. You have a thousand dollars in notes and you have a thousand dollars in coins. What will you use to pay and what will you use to ho uh, to store your wealth? It's called Gresham's law, by the way. Good mo bad money drives out good money, and the the fastest the fastest depreciating units will be used to pay with, and the appreciating units will be used to hoard, and gold will be uh, presumably will be uh, more stable in value or actually appreciating value. So, people will uh, keep their gold coins and they will toss away their their paper or pay with their paper. And then consider this: if we have mutual cr credit facilities next to gold-based banks and you want to go out for a mortgage and you, t you want to take out a mortgage and you can choose between 0% credit uh, provided by the mutual credit facility or 5% credit provided by the gold-based bank which would you choose? Okay, I think that the answer to these questions really uh, prove without a doubt that uh, gold would play absolutely no role in a truly free market with, with truly competing uh, uh, currencies and that uh, even the Fed notes would be uh, far more important in, uh, in, in, in the market as, as a means of exchange that is because of course as a store of value the, the gold would pr uh, prevail but money is important as a means of exchange and the store of value is well secondary at best. So the free market for currencies is just a ruse. It is just uh, invented because the old gold standard idea was no longer, longer tenable. And uh, would there be really a free market for currencies? Gold would play absolutely no role in this, but there will not be a really free market. The free market will be dominated by the money power outlets and uh, all the financing will, will go into gold and other metals. Well, no, it will go into gold because other metal metals will be... Uh, will be uh, downplayed by the money power because they want deflation and not uh, and, and they want to keep silver and uh, let alone all the other species all the other metals out of the market be that as it may the free market for currencies uh, uh, called as such by Austrian economics is a total hoax 
completely irrelevant and it only serves to create the gold standard mon money power once already. Read all about it, including um, uh, the stories uh, I did with the, the discussions I did with the Daily Bell and Gary North on this issue at realcurrencies.wordpress.com. The links are in the description of this video. And thank you very much for watching.